Hey guys, it's Megan. I'm here today to show you how to do the smoky outer corner look with a winged line. For this look, I use the Morphe 35P palette. I'm really loving Morphe. All of their products are always great. They're really reasonable priced. If you're thinking about getting any Morphe products, I do totally recommend it. This is not a sponsored video. I have not gotten anything from them. I just really like their company and their products. So if you'd like to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off by using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I'm going to be using my Morphe 35P palette. The first color that I'm going to be going in with is going to be this color, and it's just the lightest color on the palette. I'm going to use my Crown Brush's fluffy angled brush, and just put that all over the lid and the brow bone. Then I'm going to use this color as my transition color. I'm going to apply my tape first. I put it on the back of my hand so that it gets less sticky. Now my transition color. I'm not going to put it all in the crease, I'm just going to blend it out on the outer V. This isn't a traditional smoky eye. It's going to be like an outer V smoky eye. Now I'm going to be taking this like burnt orange brown color and putting that right on top of where I just put my transi transition color. Transition color. And I've been using my Morphe G13 brush. Now with my Morphe S21 brush, I'm going to be putting this color all in the inner corner and part of my eyelid. Taking more of my transition color and I'm going to be putting that right up here just to blend it out. Now to deepen up the outer V a little bit, I'm going to take this color and my G13 brush and just apply it with like flicking motions from the tape and just flip, flicking upwards. Now I'm going to apply a wing. I'm using my Kat Von D tattoo liner in the color Trooper as always. And then remove the tape. We have a nice crisp line. And we can finish touching up the eyeliner. I like to take my finger and kind of smudge out that line a little bit, just so it's not like so, so harsh. I'm going to just put a little bit of that darker color right on the corner, just to deepen it up a little bit more. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of my base color and just really blend that out. Now I'm going to apply some lashes. I'm going to use my bombshell from House of Lashes. Before I apply my lashes, I'm going to line my tight line. I'm going to apply the rest of my face and I'll be right back. I was accidentally not recording, so I will tell you what I did and continue. First thing I did was line my waterline using my Jumbo NYX pencil in the color Black Bean. I started to smoke out my bottom lash line using the same colors that I used on my upper lid and my BK, BK37 brush. I started from lightest to darkest, so I went with my transition color and then the burnt orange color. Now I will be applying that darker brown color just to the outer corner. Do 
to blend that out a little bit more, I'm going to be using my Morphe S21 brush. Then I'm going to take this brush. It's no name. I know it's from Crown Brushes, but I'm not too sure what it's called. And I'm going to be taking that lighter color that I put on the majority of the eyelid and put that right into the inner corner. And blend it out down underneath the lash line just a little bit. I didn't like the way that my eyeliner was, so I did make it a little bit thicker and the wing a little bit longer. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I'm just going to apply it right on the bottom of the lashes to blend my real lashes with my fake ones. And the bottom lash line. For my lip today, I decided to go with a little bit more of a natural lip. So I went in with my Milani lipstick in the color Matte Naked. And this is the finished look for you guys. I hope you like this look. I sure enjoyed doing it for you. I will put all the products that I use down in the description for you, as always, along with my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!